Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to our weekly travel training. My name is Marcia Lashley. I am an independent travel agent as well, just like yourself. Um, and I, uh, this is a weekly training that we have for our team every single week. And uh, last week we did not have a training. However, uh, one second, guys. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, last week we did not have a travel training, but the week before we did have a travel training, and I did go over some things uh, over there, over in that, re that previous training that uh, I'm going to pick up from this week, okay? So for all you new travel agents, welcome, welcome, welcome. And also, uh, if you go to youtube.com slash OTM Travel Services and subscribe, when I upload these trainings every week, you'll be able to go to the webinar and look at it and rewind it and take notes and learn from it as well. So the previous training that we discussed, we discussed travel education and suppliers courses. We discussed partner resources, self-evaluation, setting your goals, which I'm going to follow up with some of you um, agents with that as well to see where you are and see where your growth is. And then we also did where do I start and then taking your travel business to the next level and some success success strategies and the important forms that we should use in our business every single day. And that's what we discussed in the previous training. And so this week, tonight's training, we will discuss naturally education. I told you guys we will always discuss education, right, because that's how I learned. We're also going to discuss suppliers, booking engines. Uh, because some of you guys are, are simple little things, you know, we're missing and that can uh, affect our money, right? So we're going to go through some of those, a few of those, as many as we can for the night. We'll discuss some familiarization trips, agent privileges, and industry events that you guys should attend, okay? So let's get started. The first thing that I want to suggest to you guys is VAX Vacation Access. This is one of our preferred suppliers, guys. Uh, VAX pays a really high percentage rate of commissions, so I would highly recommend that any courses or any upcoming webinars that you should be plugged into. Uh, right now, they have an upcoming webinar July 17th at 1 p.m. If you guys could make it out there, I definitely recommend you do this. Also, also the ultimate awards agent rewards just for you through Mark Travel on July 19th at 11 a.m. So you definitely want to get registered for those webinars and attend them. They also have um, Playa Welcomes Jewel Resorts in Hilton Rose Hall on the 24th, and then Experience for Every Guest, Adults, Families, Entertainment, and Groups on the 25th. So go check your email. If you're not um, receiving emails, I would suggest that you, read, you make sure that you're signed up for the newsletters for VAC and then you'll definitely receive those emails, okay? Uh, so jumping right into suppliers courses, Norwegian is, um, has a really great course, and the reason why I'm bringing this up to you is to really, um, it's like an incentive, it's to incentivize you to educate yourself, right, in your business. So Norwegian's Cruise Line has an awesome education um, course, and the education course has four different levels, associates, bachelors, degrees, masters, and PhD. And every time you complete each level, you are rewarded 15% of the fleet-wide sailing and five CLIA points, credits, okay? And you go all the way through to each one of them. And of course, when you receive, when you reach PhD degree level, uh, you'll get 30% off. Well, of course, there's a 5% increase in the percentage of the fleet-wide um, sailing, excuse me. However, when you reach the PhD, that's when you'll earn a free Norwegian cruise, okay, for two and five CLIA um, credits. So this is great incentive, guys, to really get plugged into the supplier's courses, educate yourself, sell, 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 and not only earn commissions, but you'll be able to earn free cruises as well, okay? So take advantage of those. Um, they also have an awesome affinity group program, which is really um, different from the typical cruise line industry because most cruise lines, um, you have to book eight or more cabins to become an affinity group. Norwegian, you can book um, starting at um, five cabins, uh, which you can get an affinity group, which I think is awesome. So uh, you definitely want to take some time to plug into this. 
go on Norwegian. I'm not going to go through everything right here. I just want to show you so that you can go and pull it and see it. This is new, starting June 15th. It just started not even 30 days ago. So definitely get into it. We're going to really try to focus on getting groups because groups increase our commissions. Groups also give us awesome experiences. We also are able to increase our clientele because whoever that group leader was, they invited, they opened up their entire guest list to you as the agent. You're dealing with everyone on an individual basis, which means that they all individually, separately will come back to you in the future. So it's really great that you, you get with groups and try to book as many group cruises as much as possible. Seven days or longer. We're going to go in next training. I'll go into details on that as well for you guys, okay? Some of the supplies, this is also um, Norwegian Cruise Lines. They have, uh, I just briefly threw an itinerary up there to motivate you guys as well. Seven, seven days Cuba, Bahamas overnight. Seven days or more cruise, guys, those are the best ways to go. That's where you really see your commissions. That's where you're in. your clients really enjoy and get their money's worth. They're able to absorb every single port and everything on the ship and everything that they have they want to do, they're able to do in the seven days. So it's really great to really promote those, okay? But they have the, oh, the uh, free at sea, the free open bar. I mean, these are great incentives and tools to, to motivate you to book your clients on these cruises. I just booked one. They just had the dollar deposit last week, and I was able to lock in a couple of um, bookings from that as well. So you have to, these are the incentives that these suppliers provide to us agents so that we can increase our clientele, increase our commissions, increase our revenue, okay? My Apple Vacations, a lot of you guys, um, you know, called me, contacted me in regards to not being able to get onto Apple, and it's very simple. So if you go through your back office, your dashboard, you go into the Packages tab and the Book Travel tab and Packages, you'll see Apple's Vacations. If you click on Learn More, it will bring you into this page right here where it says Apple Online 4.0 where you put in your username and password, and I gave you guys a suppliers list, how to get to your suppliers list. The information is on there. These, these recordings are on YouTube, so I don't want to give the information out in public. You should know what your IATA, your user ID and password is, but it's a standard one for all agents, and it's on your supplier's list. You can go ahead and get it, plug it in. Once you log in with your username and password, then you're going to come to a screen like this. It's very important that you pay attention to this particular screen because if you um, – if your screen is not maximized, then you're not going to be able to move on from here. As you can see, you, you see nothing, right? What do you do? Like what most of you guys get right here, and you're like, oh, my goodness, what do I do? What you have to do is you have to maximize your screen. So go to the middle button, click on it, and then if you look to the bottom left here, your start button will appear, and then you can proceed to book in your package. <clears throat> so once you get in, excuse me, once you get in, I just covered up our agency Ayana there. Once you get in and you put your client's information in, where they're going, where they're coming from, the, their dates of arrival, their dates of departure, how many nights, how many people, how many rooms, air, hotel transfers, all of that, you will have to put your information in as an agent over here where the red arrow is. Now, if you've never booked with Apple before, then your name will not appear on the list of agents that have already booked with Apple. So what you will have to do is <clears throat> you will have to go ahead and put your name in. So if you click on New Agent, select New Agent from the drop-down box, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll be able to type your name in there. You will not be able to proceed without entering your, your travel agent name, okay? So once you enter your travel agent's name, <clears throat> it's going to come up and says, please continue making your quote your booking, <clears throat> and then be sure to sign up for the royalties program, either online or via myappleonline.com, and clicking on royalties info or by emailing royalties to the directions below. Remember, only bookings with royalty numbers will earn royalty points. And then, of course, if you have any questions, there's a number here, of course, so this is just a little step, and I just a lot of you guys get stuck right here, so I just thought I'll just show, show it to you guys on the screen. So once you proceed with your booking and you put all the information from your client in the booking engine, it's going to yield the results. As you can see, the flights, you can select Apple's package or you can create your own. Um, as you can see, the flights came up. This is New York to Aruba in January. Five adults, 
two rooms. Two people in one room, three people in another room. The total is 9174. Uh, I'm just going through it. I'm showing you the breakdown. This is pretty much a summary of it. And now that they can go into detail and show you for each room what each passenger is paying so that you can go into room one and divide it by two, go into room three, two and divide it by three so that you can give them an even amount of per person price. Or you can just go right here and just take it from here and proceed. This, in, this itinerary, itinerary is pretty long, so I have to split the page in two. This is, the, excuse me, this is the bottom of the itinerary. As you can see, this is where you'll place all adults' name, all five passengers here. It'll give you the deposit amount. It'll give you the deposit due date. Um, and any promos or anything like that, any taxes, base price, everything is here. It's just very simple, guys, very simple booking engine. Um, uh, and then, of course, when you go, let me go back a second here. Pardon me. If you look, oh boy, it's right up here. It says um, itinerary quote itinerary. If you click on it, this is what I did. I clicked on here. It is create I create quote. If you just click on create quote, it will create a quote for you. As you can see, the quote the itinerary number has appeared here. My itinerary was created. It's very simple. And then, of course, you go into the itinerary, and you can email guest copy or agent copy. And agent copy, of course, will reveal your book, your commission's amount. Guest copy will not. So it's very simple with Apple, but I just want you guys to take note. If you don't maximize your screen, guys, you'll never see the start button, okay? And also, Apple has a deal that I thought you guys should think of. This is another way to, you know, an incentive to help you book with these suppliers. Any bookings made between June 11th and December 31st of 2019 for travel, beginning on or after June 11th through the night of December 31st, 2019, guests will receive up to $500 in reserve credits per room per se, which I think is awesome. Receive complete breakdown of credit upon check-in. Details can be found in the resort property website. The credits will not be replaced, and so on and so on. But this is a great incentive, guys. So you can. this is a great way to push this because if they go online, they're more than likely not going to be able to get this deal. But as a travel agent, we're able to give them these additional deals, okay? So I don't know what happened. I think something slipped. But with Norwegian, going into Norwegian, I thought we talked about Norwegian already. Going into Norwegian... Um, booking engine, actually. This is their booking engine. We talked about their education, but this is their booking engine. So when you're using booking, um, the Norwegian booking engine, guys, very important note, you must use Mozilla Firefox. You can't use Google Chrome. You will not get all of your information, okay? Information will be missing. So FYI, use, always use um, Mozilla Firefox when um, going to Norwegian Central. That's just a little insight tip. Not just kidding. So once you're logged in to um, in Norwegian Central, then you can go to New Reservation right here. Click on New Reservation. Of course, this is where you'll enter for Norwegian um, um, NCLU, Marketing Headquarters, Partners First Facebook page, where you can sign up, um, join them. They're great. Um, but you want to click on New Reservation. Once you click on New Reservation, your agency information will come up. I just blocked our agency information out to protect it. Um, but your name will come up as well right here. All you have to do is hit Continue. Don't really do anything on that page. Um, with Norwegian, it's very limited information. The less you put in, the more you'll get back. So. I would highly recommend when you get to the vacation tab, this is where you're going to book um, your vacation for your client. You want to make sure that you put in the to and from date, how many days, and how many adults. You also want to make sure that you uncheck include insurance. Of course, we have ins travel insured where we get a really great commission uh, percentage of commissions, so we highly recommend that you use them instead of the cruise lines insurance um, policies, okay? So you want to uncheck that, and then once you put in the date, you don't necessarily have to put in the destination, but you can if you know it. Uh, like I said, less is more. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I would rather just put in the basic information, and then, of course, it will yield the itineraries based on the dates that I put in, which was actually um, December 30th. 
uh, four days to Havana. I like it. It's really cool because once you click on the Norwegian Sky, which is the cruise ship that you'll be going on, it'll give you some information about Norwegian Sky there. And then when you hit on View, it'll also, you can view the itinerary. Hit View I is View Itinerary, so you get to see a breakdown all on the same screen. It doesn't roll over to another page. And then, of course, when you click on the categories, balcony, outside, inside, it'll give you the category breakdown of the, each category and the total of each category so you can have an idea of which category your clients would fit into based on their budget. So I think it's really cool. So then you hit select. And once you hit select, the next page will come up. Of course, you are able to now select your category. Um, if you use your mouse and hover over to the left area here, You'll get a breakdown of all your information here. It'll also give you the earned commissions, the gross due, uh, your net due, uh, you know, and government taxes, onboard credits, if any, onboard uh, reversals, if any. Uh, it'll give you all of that information. If you just take your mouse and hover over that area, of course, if you move your mouse, it'll just go away, right? But then, so let's go ahead and we're going to select the, um, the suite. Of course, we selected the suite. This is why your commissions was $1,234 because it was actually the suite that we selected here, okay? So now we're going to select a room, a cabin, a state room from that category that we selected, okay? So now we can go in here and we select once the, the next page comes up, we're able to select our category, which when you see it light up in light colors, then you know that's the only ones available. If it's shaded in gray, you know it's not available. So we select that. Uh, we go through the essentials. Pretty much you go through all the essentials, any standards, any insurance, and all of that, none of it, and you just continue on. And this is where you'll enter your client's name. As you can see, this is where you'll hit create, and you're able to go in and add each, person, each guest name and date of birth. If you don't have any other information, that's fine. Even if you don't have the, the date of birth and you have the name spelled correctly, that's fine. You can just go ahead and put that in. Make sure whenever you're putting information in, any um, correspondence information, you want to make sure you put your email address in so that the cruise lines contact you and not your clients. It's very important. You are a travel agent, so you should be taking care of all your clients' travel needs. The cruise lines and our suppliers should not be contacting your clients for any reason at all, okay? So you be very mindful of the information that you put in there so that they can send you the information and not your client, okay? And so pretty much that was it for, um, for, for Norwegian. Now we go on to VAX with the promotions and with the deals, guys. I, I want to stress this a lot because a lot of you guys are missing the deals and the promotions, and you, you know your clients are calling you at the last minute, so you know that you need to look at the promotions and the deals first before you go creating a package from scratch for them because they're calling at the last minute, guys. And in order to keep them and not have them go somewhere else, the best thing for you to do is check the promotions for each supplier. Go into the promotion section, go into the deal section, check the dates to make sure that they're the same dates as your clients, and then check to see if the property matches your client's preferences. Then you can propose that package to your client. But utilize the promotions and the deals first so that you can keep the clients, okay, and not let them go elsewhere. It's very important that you do that. And so let's go back here for a second. And so with FunJet, um, you go, you click on deals and promotions. We're going to select promotions. And when promotions come up, you'll see that all the origins, like if your client is in Cincinnati or Kansas City or St. Louis or any of those places here, this is where it originates from. And these are the destinations they go to, Cancun, Los Cabos, Puerto Vallarta, Cozumel, Riviera Maya, all these different destinations, okay? And these are the different types. These are different hotels and the promotion type. So look at them to see if any of them corresponds with your client's dates. Then do the same thing with promo codes, just like promotions. You go in there, you click on promo codes, <clears throat> and what will come up is a promo code all on sale one. 
discounts is up to $200 per reservation, 5% discount on hotels, and these are the booking windows. Of course, this is old, um, it, but it gives you a breakdown of every single thing, all of the qualifications, so that you can know if your clients qualify for, for those promos, okay? Very important that you check those out, guys, before you go creating a package from scratch because you're going to miss the deals for your clients. So, <clears throat> industry privileges. It's very important that we focus on this for a second. Always confirm the qualifications required by suppliers. Some FAMs or privileges may be reserved for agents who have proven their abilities to sell, okay? So this is why I'm always stressing you guys take some time to go into the supplier's educational courses and complete them. It's very important. The more knowledgeable you are as a travel agent, the more you will increase your commissions, the more you will increase your clientele. And those two things are the tools that we need, the, the important, important, um, what is the word I'm looking for, important um, points that we need to help build our business. So you want to make sure that you always do the necessary things that will help in improve that, okay? Confirm qualifications with the hotel resorts, cruise lines, and other suppliers. See the how to travel like a pro in our back office, in our dashboard, um, the do's and don'ts of the FAMS, travel tips on behavior expected of you when you're traveling. So what are FAM trips for you new, new travel agents? Like, what are FAMS? What is she talking about? Short for familiarization trips, guys. These are the trips that suppliers provide for us to get a hands-on experience of the product so that we can better sell it. FAMs are provided by travel suppliers like hotels, mm -hmm. cruise lines, resorts, vacations, and tour companies and tourism boards exclusively for travel agents to familiarize you with their travel products offerings and to encourage your recommendations and sales. Deep discounts, often up to 80% to help you travel more. They're not commissionable to IntelliTravel or to you. So we, would, we can never register our familiarization bookings. We can never register those in our back office for, for commissions because they're non, they're NCF, okay, non-commissionable um, fees all in there. Uh, it's very important, guys, that we take some time to, to educate ourselves. I can't stress that enough. I really, really can't stress it enough. This is where I got most of my information from when it comes to becoming a travel agent and learning how to become a better travel agent. We have all of the tools in our back office in IntelliTravel, so I highly recommend that you take some time to go in there and familiarize yourself with that, not only the trips. What is the rate for non-agent spouses or companions traveling with you? So sometimes suppliers will allow your, your spouse or a plus one to come on a familiarization trip for a little higher fee, but it's well worth it, guys, because compared to you just going online and purchasing a package or your spouse doing that, if you weren't in the industry, then um, it will be way more. Typically, travel partners will extend travel agent privileges to non-agent spouses or other companions as long as they're traveling with the agent. Often, travel partners will limit these privileges in some ways. Common limitations are one hotel room or cabin or car per travel agent or maximum numbers of non-agent guests at the reduced rate. Like you're only going to have one person that will be able to pay this reduced rate. And if your spouse come with you, you guys can't have two rooms. You have to um, roommate in one room or whoever your companion, your plus one is. Occasionally, travel partners will charge a modest su su supplement over the agent rate for non-agent companions still representing a significant discount from public pricing. It really is, guys. It's a significant discount because we're already getting this huge, ridiculously large percentage off of these familiarization trips as opposed to a client who would have to pay full price. Maybe they'll get a 10 or 15 or 25% off, but that's about it. How do I access, my, access and use my FAM trips? Contact your travel partners with the information listed. Remember, these offers are at the discretion of travel partners. So some are last minute and others are available long term or even year round. And provide them with your agency's industry numeric code, which is your ARC or your ARC, your ARC or your IATA or CLIA. And don't confuse them with your PIN number, guys, because the PIN number is usually an internal number, and only IntelliTravel uses it mostly. There are very few suppliers that uses them. Uh, VAX is one of them that definitely requires your PIN number. 
Um, but that's about it. So don't get them confused, okay? Always confirm the qualifications required by the travel partner, okay? A few FAMs may be reserved for agents who have proven their ability to sell travel or have met other qualifications, like completing their educational course guide, or maybe even booking travel from them, booking their products, okay? How do I accept my trip? So you, what is it good for also? Vacation tours. And um, vacations and tours, fam trips, travel agent rates, upgrades and VIP attention. You get uh, theme park and show attractions. You get rail. You get airlines, hotel, rental car, cruises. These are all travel agent rates that we can benefit from. But like I said, it's best to really educate yourself before you even sign up for a fam trip. Oh, and also, when you as a travel agent, when you're going on a familiarization trip, and this form is in our back office, guys, I highly recommend that you pull pull this form, it's a PDF format, print it, and travel with it. Just like your verification ID when you're using travel, which we'll discuss that a little later. But you want to make sure that you always use this hotel inspection form as a travel agent because when you are going to, remember these FAM trips are for you to familiarize yourself with the product so that you can better sell it. So when you are going to sell that product to your clients, you want to make sure that when your client travel, they experience exactly what you experience, or maybe not, maybe experience better. So when you utilize these forms, you're able to follow all the things that common people pay attention to when they go into a hotel room. And we may not be focused on it because we may be so excited at the great 80% off that we got, and we're not paying attention to certain things, but it's very important that we pay attention to certain things. And so going off this checklist and making sure that everything is up to par on the, in the room, uh, and also, you know, it's great to, to show it to um, your, the supplier because the suppliers always want feedback, and if there's something that they can improve so that you can better sell it, they will take the advice from you. Just be mindful of always being professional when you're communicating with suppliers, okay? So these are an example of some of the familiarization trips that we have in our back office, guys. I recommend that you guys as travel agents utilize them. There are very, some of them are, you know, there for year-round, and some of them are just not. It's based on occupancy, okay? Three nights at Azul Beach Resort, Riviera for $199. You know very well you're not going to see that on the regular, okay? Sail through Ukraine for $2,500. You're not going to see that on the regular. Discounted two nights in New York City. This is a great deal. This is a great experience for some of you who've never been to New York City because I know it costs a lot more, okay? Tour of Poland's best cities, October 5th, from $199. These are not rates that you'll see out in public, okay? These are only for travel agents. Spend a week in Dubai, October 25th to the 31st, 2018, from $99, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious, that is awesome, a great experience. You'll be able to come back and better sell Dubai because when you're there, you'll be taking all these pictures of the site inspections that you're going to see. This fam was designed with corporate event planning, group travel planners, or leisure agents in mind. After arriving to Dubai, agents will visit Atlantis. The Palm Hotel, one of the top accommodation options in the city. The next day, they will enjoy a full day tour of Dubai's top sites. Other highlights throughout the week long trip include a day trip to Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, for a city tour, a desert safari that includes a camel ride, a full day expo showcasing Dubai's offerings, along with a presentation on the Dubai 2020 Expo. This is awesome, guys. Can you imagine what your social media pages would look like and everyone would want to book with you? For only starting from $99, you can't get this out there. This is why it's best to utilize this, but you want to educate yourself. Even if you don't educate yourself, take advantage of the trips. Keep in mind, though, however, that partners are encouraged to comment on the performance of IntelliTravel's independent agents. So for the protection of all agents, reports of unprofessional or aggressive or demanding behavior are thoroughly investigated and may result in forfeiture of privileges or possible dismissal. So you don't want to use your, lose your privileges or your business through misconduct, okay? The world is your classroom, guys, so get out there, learn, share, and sell, 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 okay? 
Um, also, Carnival has a great industry benefit as well, so definitely take some time to go in there. We're going to go over Carnival next week to encourage traveler agent partners. You want to experience a great vacation. They have awesome rates uh, for agents that you want to go ahead and log into and check them out. Okay, so travel the world, agents. It's your classroom. Also, I want to remind you guys to definitely go to Unlimited Rewards. This is a great incentive for travel agents because as you book with Avis and Budget uh, Rental Cars, you book your clients and you put your, your um, UR number in there, you accumulate points. Points turns into money. They sent me a, a, a debit card with money on it that I was able to use on one of my trips when I went. So definitely use these things there, accumulate. Also, when we travel outside of the country, travel agents get a 35% saving on rental cars outside of the U.S., which we, we need. So and you can take your, your card and you can use your incentive that you got from booking. You can use that to book your cars when you travel overseas, okay? Also, there's the Cash In Club. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this one as well. Um, and this one is with uh, Alamo Enterprise and National. You can sign, sign up with them when you're booking with those um, suppliers. You can use your, um, your CIC number, and you will be able to accumulate points. They'll send you a Visa card that you can use to buy, uh, you know, stuff for your family or for your friends or for your clients or however you want to choose to use it. But these are great incentives for agents, so get signing up, guys. Hotels, how to book hotels for agents. You want to contact online or the 800 number for a large chain hotel and ask for the number of the specific location that you're interested in. You should have your agency identifiers and all of that information out ready, your credit cards and all of that. Be sure to request a letter of verification from, from your host agency guys. You want to make sure you have that because you can negotiate this online or via phone all you want, but when you show up to that hotel, and you do not have a verification letter, you will have to pay regular rates. They will not honor the agent rates. So it's very important. And IntelliTravel is great with providing you with these verification letters. Like if you're traveling that day in the morning, you can request it. And by afternoon, they'll have an email sent to you with your verification letter. And it shows that you're an active agent. So it's very important that you get those verification letters. Send an email, get on chat. I would recommend you send an email and you'll get one right, right you know, they'll respond right away. Um, like I said, you want to make sure you have your business card, your CLIA card. If you have a CLIA card, that's a great um, industry identifier as well. Um, and like I said, the verification letter. Most hotels offer significant discounts to travel agents when space is available. In general, expect 50% off the rate offered to the public rack rate, okay? And so with booking with eight Marriott, so most of you guys are probably have already completed the courses. I hope I've stressed that long enough. So I hope that most agents have completed the um, the, the certification program that Marriott has through Hotel Excellence. Um, because when booking, well, let's get into it. When you when booking with Marriott for agent rates, you want to go to travelagent.marriott.com. You want to enter your IATA number uh, in there, and then you want to hit sign in. Once you hit sign in, you'll be able to go into the search area. You'll be able to put in your information. So, for instance, I put in Fort Lauderdale. This was early last year that I did, and it was a really great rate, too. Um, I did Fort Lauderdale October 6th to the 9th. I put in, I went down to the bottom. I put how many rooms, how many adults, how many guests. And then when you're booking for agent rate, you want to click on the special rate tab here, guys. You want to open that, collapse that. You want to go to corporate promotional code, and you want to enter T77 as the agent rate. And then, of course, as you can see here, it yields the results. As you can see, it's $119 a night, but with the agent rate, it's $69 a night, which brings the total booking to $207 total for a king size studio, which I think is excellent because, as you can see, it costs a lot more. And then, of course, here it shows, gives you an itinerary breakdown, shows you that it's non-commissionable. It's the NCR, so this rate cannot be, you cannot register this rate to get commission, and you definitely have to have your ID, hence the verification letter. It's very important you have that. And it gives you a breakdown here. Total, you can definitely hold this for 24 hours. Usually, 24 hours prior to arrival, if you cancel, 
based on the time you booked it, Marriott, Marriott will honor it and they won't charge your card, which I think is great. Um, like I said, cancellation policy two days prior, just like any standard um, booking, and these are not commissionable, so definitely take advantage of those rates, guys. Um, for Hotel Excellence, to benefit off of the fantastic rates, you have to complete the Hotel Excellence um, course and continuing education. And you can go sign in to click below here, sign in to read the program um, Frequently Asked Questions. Once you click on it, it will bring you into a um, Hotel Excellence login page where you're able to um, set up a login and password if you don't have one already. Um, this is where you'll go ahead and um, set up your login and password, and then you'll be able to proceed to the Hotel Excellence to completing it. And then you'll be able to get the fantastic rates, which are even better, guys. So education is important. It's essential, okay? And, of course, Travel Weekly, I told you guys, it's very important that as a travel agent, especially an independent travel agent, that you get connected with the industry. You want to know what's going on inside of the industry so that you can inform your clients, okay? An informed travel agent have in intelligent travelers, and that's what you want. You want intelligent travelers. So you want to make sure that you get with Travel Weekly. They're the travel industry's trusted voice, guys, and they're great. They really are. You also want to get with Travel Agent Central, Business Travel News, Travel Agent, Recommend, Travel Pulse. You want to sign up with all of these so that you can get information from them, great travel tips that you can share on social media with your clients as well, making you look like that professional that you really are. Cruise World is an industry event that I highly recommend you guys attend. Travel Weekly presents Cruise World every year. This is not as big as CLIA, but it's a, still a big event. You can learn a whole lot. There are a lot of suppliers there, a lot of education there. Okay, and this is a pretty much a little legend here about attendees, um, their booking pattern when they complete these, these um, industry events. So that's why I'm highly recommending that you guys take some time to invest in your education, guys. Okay, when you attend these events, I'm telling you, you increase your commissions, you increase your clientele, you're more be you become more knowledgeable. When you're more knowledgeable, you're better to sell it. Okay, because you've experienced it, you've experienced the fam trips, you've taken the educational courses, you've booked um, packages or cruises or itineraries with the suppliers, so now experience is the best teacher. Now you're so knowledgeable that your confidence has increased. So you want to take a look at this, all inclusive vacations. All of them are increased from travel agents attending these events. So it's, it's recommended. I'm not getting paid. No one's paying me for anything. I'm telling you to position yourself for things that will help educate you. Not everything may educate you, but certain things will. And I've attended these events, and I've seen the difference in myself and my growth, my knowledge when I came back from these events. So I would definitely recommend them to other agents as well. <clears throat> what do you get for Cruise World? For, well, this is actually Cruise 360 that's, that's passed. This is CLIA as, uh, as well. And I think I have my side switch. We're going to get back to Cruise World in a minute. But this is Cruise 360, and this one just passed two months ago. Um, this is through CLIA. Again, here is another legend from last year, the percentage of people who travel, people, um, agents who booked, who attended these events, the increase of their commissions, um, the, the amount of people that's expected to cruise for the year, the types of people, the generational types of people that cruises, so that you can have an idea of who to target, okay, who to make your clients, who will definitely have those group bookings or those themed bookings, which is what you need, because when you have themed bookings, people will buy into those. Um, they're usually larger groups, and so they're definitely worth um, whatever work you have to put in, okay? So you don't know which supplier to use for a trip. So if your client has an idea of where they want to go, the, the first thing I would recommend, guys, you do is go to Google. Google it. Put in, go into Google, Google Santorini. Check out a few other prefer, uh, preferred suppliers to see what their rates are and compare them. Check out Vax and check out GoGo and check out Apple. 
okay, and check out Delta Vacations or how many ever to see which one gets, the, gets you the better rates for your client. You want to work for your clients. Do you see how quick I went into Norwegian and one of those suppliers and I was able to create an itinerary in less than five minutes and make a $1,000 commission or $500 commissions? It takes, it's that quick. However, putting in a little bit extra work for your clients is well worth it, guys, because they will come back to you and they will send all of their people to you. And whenever they think of travel, you want them to think of you. So you want to put in some work. Get some elbow grease going in there for your clients, okay? So check out, um, go to VAC, go, go, like I said, go to the different suppliers, create the packages with the suppliers, find the best rates. Go to the education tab and learn more about each supplier so that when you have a conversation with your client, you know exactly what you're talking about. And this whole I don't know will go completely away because now you're knowledgeable and you do know. Simply from starting from Google, right? Simply by going to Google. So if you need help with anything that I've discussed tonight, all your answers are pretty much in your agent training manual, guys, because that's where I pretty much pulled the educational information from, you can go to the supplier's website directly, log in, and you can get the same exact information that I got as well. Um, you also want to use knowledge base, guys. Whenever you guys are searching for something, don't just get on the phone and call and tell a travel and have we had like 30 or 40 travel agencies on the line because we did not go to knowledge base. We did not utilize all our other resources. We didn't even go to the chat, but we got on the phone and made a phone call and it's just plotting up the lines. So let's utilize all of these different options that IntelliTravel have in place for us. Graduate from IntelliTravel University, then you'll become more knowledgeable of your back office, and you'll know where to find stuff, what you have access to and what you may not have access to, what you may have to go outside of your, your booking engine to get access to, okay? And then you definitely want to make sure that you watch the featured webinars and tutorials every single week from our preferred suppliers. Register with them to make sure that you get those recordings, those, um, those live webinar notifications. And, of course, live chat is available Monday through Friday. It's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I believe I have that incorrect. I'm going to double-check that and get back with you guys next week on that. And then, of course, you want to use the agent support desk. If, you cannot, if you've exhausted all of your options, then you want to go to the agent support desk and contact them there for them to help you, okay? I hope this was very helpful for you guys. Thank you for taking the time to educate yourself and your travel business. The more valued and expertise expertise you can bring to the table, the more clients will appreciate and trust you, okay? I know we just did this a little early, but I want to open the lines for any Q&A that you guys may have and go through some um, uh, booking uh, platforms for you guys if you guys need for me to do that as well, okay? One second. Let me open up the lines for you. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you for joining, first of all, guys. The lines are open, so if you guys have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them for you. No? No questions? No! Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the booking engine. Okie dokie. So I think that Carnival guys, oh, one second here. I see I have a question. Which company is Omni under? Omni is under, um, I completed that course already. Um, let's find out. Yeah. I completed that course, guys. I to that to totally slipped my mind, but we'll go find it right now. We'll go find it right now.
Yep, it is IGH or something like that, but we can go into the education tab right now and find it because I've completed that course as well. Global Hotel Alliance. It might be Global Hotel Alliance, but I did complete that course. Oh, this is not going to be in supplies because it's probably going to be an affiliate course. A core. I believe they're a core. I completed so many of these courses, guys, that I can't tell you off the, off the top of my dome. Oh, you guys are not seeing what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were seeing what I was doing here. I found it in here when I first, the first year that I got started, I completed that course. Let's see here. Let me see if I can go into my files and see it in a second. I'll tell you in a second. This is what happens when you ask me a question. If I don't know it, I go to, I go to hunting for it. I go to searching for it. Let's see. Hotels. Here we go. Education. Hotel Education, GHA, Global Hotel Alliance. One second. No, it's not. I don't think so, because this is what I have here for Global Hotel Alliance. Yeah, that's not it. One second here, guys. This is what happens when you ask me a question. I go on a hunt. One second. I got a, I got an idea. I got an idea. One second. Let me tell you right now. How many hotels? Hey, we get commissions. That's one good thing. Yeah, this is um, Omni Hotels is owned by Omni. And they have very few commissions, but there was a name behind it. I remember I did the course. I remember I did. Yeah, Omni Hotel and Resorts are owned by Omni. Omni Hotel and Resorts, okay? This is pretty much what they have here. It says it here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, they're owned by Omni, Robert. I hope that um, helps. Yeah, their own Omni is owned by Omni. I could have I could have swore that they actually were owned by another company when I completed that course. Um, but I'm going to definitely look into that one for you, uh, Rob, and get that answered for sure for you. 
So my next question is, once, why are you not talking to me? Why are you texting me? So my next question is, once we've completed, is there any discounted agent rates for us? Um, I just, oh, I just closed out. I wish I saw that um, before I closed out because I think that I just saw agent rates in there. Um, I, I could have swore I just saw something about agent rates. I'm not sure. Subsidiaries Omni, Amelia Island Plantation. So yeah, Omni is owned by Omni, based on the information that I just saw from Google. But there have been a lot of changes because I um um I uh, I just got a notification from my computer and. T- Completely. Can you hear me? I'm trying to pick you, Robert. I guess Robert is not on there. Um, Rob? Yeah. Can you hear me? You sound a little far away, but I can hear you. Oh, um, no, I guess uh, I was typing in there. It was under GH exchange. GHA. It's super, super low. I can really, really can't hear you. Oh, wow. I don't know why. Um, my microphone is up high, I believe. Can you hear me now? Mm, not really. I'm not. I'm not sure if others can hear you, but you're super, super low. I don't understand why you're so low. My volume is all the way up. My volume is turned all the way up. I'm not sure why I can't hear you. Um, but what you were talking, you were asking me about agent rates. So whenever you go to a hotel, guys, and we can do that right now, like we're on Omni right now, and Rob is trying to find out if there are agent rates, scroll down to the bottom and click on travel agent tab, if there is a travel agent tab. And, of course, this is where you see travel agent rates. See that there, right there, win a free night. Sample itinerary, GHA courses. So GHA is who um, Omni is owned by. You were correct, Rob. And so then you want to click on travel agent. 
great. And then here it'll tell you travel agent um, on the hotel and resorts travel industry rate can be booked through your GDS or on our website by clicking here. So they're giving us all the GBS world span, Apollo, Sabre, and Amadeus are the GDS that we can use, but we don't use those. So I would suggest that you go directly to Marriott, I mean Omni, pardon me, um, to book them. So like I trained earlier in the industry rates, you know, if you cannot go online, I would recommend that you give them a call. Call them and identify yourself as an independent travel agent, share your agency um, identifiers, and then inquire about the um, agent rate, if there's any agent rates available for your dates of travel, okay? That's what I would recommend you do. Because I don't see anything on here that will allow you, unless it's part of the exclusive offers, you can click on the exclusive offers, and I will share with you what they have for travel agents here. Omni Hotel at Battery in Atlanta, 20% off, best available rates, complimentary valet parking, complimentary Wi-Fi, complimentary room upgrade, available through December. So you can actually go in there and book that for any events that you may have in the area or, you know, you may want to go to the SunTrust Stadium and SunTrust Park and watch a game. Or you may want to go to an Omni in a different part of the country. They have several other um, locations here. But, um, yeah, check the exclusive offers. And then if you don't see something that you like, I would recommend that you call Omni directly and have them um, check for the rates based on your time of dates of travel. Okay. I hope this helps, Rob. I think you should go back to texting because I can't hear you at all. Any other questions? Any other questions? If we don't have any other questions, I will wrap it up. It's about an hour now. It's time to wrap it up. If you don't have any questions, we'll continue on next week going into detail with more booking engine, the suppliers booking engines is really what I want to focus on and also how to increase your commissions and how to book group cruises and how to increase your clientele. Those are things that we definitely need to talk about so that we can work on them, improving them so that we can be better at them. Okay? So if you guys don't have any other questions, I'll be wrapping it up. Questions? No? Maybe so? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't hear any, I don't see any messages and I don't hear anyone, um, I don't see anyone in the queue for Q&A, so I will be wrapping it up. And you guys have my information. If you want to reach out to me, you know how to find me. Um, send me an email, otmtravelservices at gmail.com, or you can call me or find me on Facebook, Marcia on the Move, and I'll be happy to help you, okay? Thank you guys for coming on tonight. I'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week, <clears throat> a wonderful weekend, and sell, sell, sell. <laughs> Travel. Good night. Good night, all.